it's completely tactile, yet it becomes really sort of a Zen experience when you um, begin to understand the steps and you don't have to think so much about what's coming next. I took some art classes at NFA, but never really did clay. Didn't like to get my hands dirty. I ended up finding a small studio gallery that offered pottery lessons. And this was post-graduation from um, college, and I was still living in Montreal. I really had no idea what direction my life was going to take until I sat down at that pottery wheel and still had no idea what to do with the clay on the wheel, but it was um, something that was innate in me to want to have my hands on that clay. The first step when you make a pot on the wheel is to encourage all that clay to gather in the center of the wheel. Well, it also encourages you to ground your own body and gather into your own center to be able to focus on what you're working on. For me, it's, it's first a meditation. It doesn't matter if I produce anything. Sometimes I'll just sit down and, you know, uh, junk everything that I make just to sit down and have the experience. You can open any ceramics magazine and see super functional pottery and super non-functional, strictly art for art's sake, if you will. For me, I like to create functional stuff because I'm sort of purpose-driven and I want to spend my time making things that um, can help people in their everyday lives to make things a little bit more pleasurable or enjoyable. You get such pleasure from using something that you made with your hands. 